guys, welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to show you a specific piece that I'm working on, but also kind of just show you several of the pieces that I'm working on. They're all in progress, and they kind of look like these two in the end. I've sold several of them, um, and I have a few up on Etsy. I think they're expiring soon, but I'm going to put them all up together so you won't, if you don't see them now, if you missed them this time, I'll put them up probably in a couple months or so. But um, I'm trying to keep my Etsy shop going and like in a cycle and that type of thing. But the specific piece I wanted to talk to you today was I've been wanting to do something in response to like the global or the the global goals and social justice, but a specific organization uh, named Compassion International. And so I was, I've been wanting to play around with it to make some art in response to it. And my husband and I are uh, like we both do for our church. We do a Compassion Sunday thing where we help kids get funded and get sponsors. And so I have all of the paperwork left over, and I feel a little bit bad cutting it up. But um, like we have a small church and we got several new sponsors and that's that's just about perfect. But this page had these on the bottom. It's upside down, but I cut them all off and I've been using these for like a just other colored paper to use in the collages like right there. That's what this will be. And so these ones are all upcycled. This is business. Like uh, you can see it says business. It's an old newspaper, not newspaper, uh, a junk mail. And then a lot of these are junk mail. This is a lot of junk mail. But then the compassion stuff is all from the forms that I have. And I, I wanted to do like a collage with kids on it. I was like, that's weird. I don't want to put like random kids pictures and stuff. And so I just kind of decided to play with it this way. And I think I loved the colors and they matched the background. And it's just a lot of fun. It's a fun way to, and I'll, I'll do like some stamping over top. So like you might not be able to read all of the text. It'll kind of like fade into the background and fit together a little bit better. But I loved the patterns. Um, you can see right there. I uh, Maybe zoom. There we go. I loved the patterns. And so I just cut out, those are all individual strips that I cut out. I cut some of the individual strips in half. Uh, and then I took the bottom part that says like a child is waiting for you. And I just, I used it the way I wanted to use it for the composition, but I just, I love the organization. It's really cool. If you're interested in funding kids, they get, um, it's like, I think it's $35 a month. I'm not actually sure. I don't remember now, but it's, uh, we have a couple different kids through it, but it's, um, you pay a monthly price and then all that, like they do a really good job of the money going to the kids and to the families. And one of our kids, like they send us photos of like all the stuff that they bought with the money, like all the food, all the clothing, everything. And so it's super, super cool. There is a religious component. I really do like compassion. Um, I am a Christian and I do believe like it's okay to, um, fund the kids in the churches they go to because a lot of the kids already do go to churches and so they fund they have a program there that they the, some of the money goes to that which I I do support but I understand that not everybody out there does I don't want to get into a debate about it you're allowed to have your beliefs but I'm being honest about mine but like I said I think compassion does a great job with the ministry aspect there's not forced conversions there's not some of the corruption that happens in some countries from what I've seen they do a very very good job uh, they just they love on people and they do that using the words of Jesus Christ. And I think that's a beautiful thing. Uh, again, I love people. I love kids. And I, I, I really do love compassion and all the things that they provide for the kids. There's education. It's been really cool to have some kids for a while. Like It's neat because you can begin to watch them start to write um, from their native language and having a translator to like attempts at English, but still having a translator. And then we have one boy now who I think is 14 or 15. He might be 16, actually, but he's now writing in English. So we write him in English. It's just, it's neat to watch them grow. It's neat to watch how much it means to them. It's neat to watch their families grow. It's neat to see um, just the, all that the organization really does do and like, and to know that the money is going towards the program. It's, it's really, really stinking cool. So if you guys are interested in sponsoring kids, check out Compassion. There's also Food for the Hungry. Compassion seems, I love their customer service. I just, I really like compassion. Food for the Hungry is great too. Um, but compassion is my, my favorite, but that's just personal. Um, yeah. So if you have any questions, let put them below. And again, I don't want to get into debates about the religion aspect. Um, I understand that not everyone's a part of that and um, that's okay. I'm not going to tell you what to do. This is, that's not what my channel's about. But yeah. So thanks for watching. And if you're interested in sponsoring kids, go for it. If you want videos on travel and culture and art, be sure to subscribe. I make a video every week. Um, this is my studio tour video for the week, but it's about a specific piece. And I do want to do something soon about uh, all my women figures and where they come from. I don't know why I've been putting it off, but I need to get it done. So you guys are amazing. Thank you for watching and I will see you again soon.